Hey everyone. Uh, I ended up, I got her laid down. Didn't quite go as planned, but you know how things, sometimes things don't always go as you like them to. But it actually worked out for the best. Everything's laid down now. Didn't hurt anything. Uh, actually, nothing got broke here at all. The walls are all still intact. Uh, never bent any metal. Everything's great. So, what my intentions are, I'm going to, of course, this is the whole back wall. It's still all one piece, which is fine for the time being. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure off roughly every nine feet. And I'm going to take a sheet of metal off. And then uh, I'll bring my skid steer over. And I got some, I'm going to build some fork extensions. And then I'm going to uh, just kind of come in. I can pick them up in nine foot sections and then set them on my trailer. And I'll stick room in between. So, yeah, I actually worked out really well lot safer this way it was getting pretty sketchy towards the end having it uh, you know suspended like that in the air so of course yes there's gonna be some rebuilding uh, nothing serious it's all strapped with two by four so I should be able if I got long enough forks I should be able to get up underneath it and uh, you know balance it enough that I can get onto it so yeah you know could be a lot worse uh, went really good. I ended up tying it back to those big pine trees. I guess that was a spruce. I don't know was a pine. But anyway, I tied it back there and then uh, just started taking things apart. It was, re kind of went that way. It was a little bit seedy on the bottom plate, or I guess on the sill. It, and, uh, it wasn't getting any more stable the more I took apart. So, anyhow, opted this route. Uh, worked out pretty good. Now it's down on the ground. It's safe. Uh, you know, a lot easier for me to to take care of it when it's all in uh, in bigger pieces, right? So, yeah. So everything come off of those six by sixes, so which is good. Uh, there wasn't much holding holding her down. That's for sure. They're lucky they didn't use to. They didn't. <laughs> they definitely didn't waste any spikes. Let's put it that way. Uh oh yeah oh, never hurt the tin i went and made uh, a rig today that i can kind of put over the rib to give me something to pry on hoping i can do that without uh, bending it so yeah that made quite a difference you can do it without bending them ribs then i can put it back together so. worked out pretty good i'm happy well, this morning I just doing a little bit of modification to my forks and the skid steer and say I want to get it so I can handle a pretty good size piece, right? You know, skid steer, it's not. I, I can unload it easier, of course, with the tractor. I just don't want to bring the tractor all the way over here. So if I can use, bring the skid steer here, it's a lot easier for me to work with and get around and I can clean up with it. It's a lot more nimble loading. So, yeah. So I'm going to work away here for a little bit today, and i got to go pick Tim up at school, actually. And uh, take him with me to work for a little bit, and then uh, kind of work away at this. So I'm hoping I'll get a load. i got some stuff over here i got to load on and uh, get that out of here, and then I can work away at what I want to accomplish here, I guess. So, really not that bad. And my deck's, you know... Well, it's 30 feet, so if I can even do the wall here and, uh, you know, just cut her in, in two pieces. Or well, one piece, so, you know, cut her down the center, and then I can haul it in two pieces. So I'd be over 30, 32 and a half feet, I guess. So I can have a little overhand, take the ramps off. Then I can stand the walls all back up in uh, one big section. So that saves a lot. Yeah. But yeah. And then put the bucket on and clean the mess up for her, and it's all done. So this other barn over here, this is another barn that I bought. I have to move this one. This one probably won't get done right off. This was like a horse barn. But uh, anyways, I got to well, I got to have it out of here too. But I get this one done first, and then we'll kind of worry about that one. 
That one I may cut the side out and back the log trailer in underneath it. And then uh, let the air out of it, crib it all up good, and then put the air to the trailer, pick it right up. And then you can walk away with it. So just take the top of the roof off and do it some early morning. So, yeah. So that's what I'm up to here. So, anyways, we'll uh, talk at you later.